one and all. I am Shreya Datta. Welcome to my academy class. I am associated with French teaching from 2016. I have completed my master's in 2016 from Pondicherry University and on the very same year I have started my PhD in French and Francophone literature. And apart from that, I teach regularly from 2016, mostly the college students as well as the school students. So, personally I believe learning is something where the teacher and the student, they learn together. And today we'll be trying to deliver some knowledge through positive enthusiasm or reinforcement to our new students. So, let's get started. Okay, so today we'll be learning French possessive adjective or adjective possessive en français. So, first of all folks, we have to know what is adjective. Adjective is one of the parts of speech which defines the quality of the noun. And what is possessive? Possessive is nothing but in front of the noun, if we put this adjective, then it will define to whom or what the noun belongs. So let's get started with adjective possessive or possessive adjective. So first we can see some of the elements here like singulier, plurier, masculine, feminine, possessor, etc. So first if we say possessor, what is possessor? To whom it possesses or to whom it belongs? So that is the subject pronoun. So here comes the subject pronoun. If we talk about the subject pronoun, then we have to know I, you, he or she, then we, then we after we, it's you again, second person plural number, then third person plural number they. So the first one is je, that means I, tu, you, il or elle, he and she. Nous, we, vous, you, il or elle, again, third person, plural number. So, if we see first person singular number, that is je, I. Then second person singular number, which is tu. Third person singular number, that is il, that means he. And for feminine, it's she, so that is am. Then, nu, first person, plural number, that is nu, that means we, we all. Then, second person, plural number, that is vu, you, again, but that's in plural. Then, third person, plural number, masculine, that is il, they. And if I talk about a feminine group, they, and if it defines they, then I will be using L with an S. So, if we say what are the subject pronouns or the possessors we have, then we have to say je, tu, il, el, nu, vu, il, el. Correct? Okay, then let's move further. Now, if I say I have a pain, so I, that is je, then have, we have to use another verb and then a pain. For that you have to use an article and you have to use a noun for pain. But if I say my pain, my pain, then I'll be using an adjective possessive. So here comes the utility of adjective possessive when we try to define the noun whom it belongs. In that case, we'll be using adjective possessive. So, for je, for I, so anything related to I will be my. So, that would be mo, ma and me, provided the thing which is masculine. If you are talking about something masculine, you'll be using mo. If you are talking about something which is feminine, you'll be using ma. And 
which is masculine or feminine, whatever it is. But if I talk about anything plural, then I'd be using me. So, ma, ma, me. Then I'm going towards you, you. So, anything related to you becomes your. Your book, your pen, your house, your class, your family, anything. So, in that case, I'd be using ton for masculine singular. For feminine singular, I'd be using ta. And for masculine and feminine plural, I'd be using te. Provided the condition, if you are talking about any noun which is masculine, you'd be using ton before the noun. If you are talking about something which is feminine, so you'd be using ta before the noun. And something which is plural, the noun which is plural, be it masculine or feminine, if it is plural, we'll be using te, t-e-s, te. So, to, ta, te. Then next one comes il or el. Il is he, el is she. So, so, sa, se. For masculine singular, this is so. For feminine singular, this is sa. And for masculine and feminine plural, this is se. So, his, so can be his or her or its. So, his or her, why I am saying? Because the if the noun is masculine, it would be so. If the noun is feminine, it would be sa. And if the noun is in plural, be it masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. You have to use se. Then next one is nu. Nu means we. We all. So if we say anything related to us, so we say this is our, our country, our pen, our classroom, our friends, it can be anything. So in that case, we'd be using for masculine singular noun, notre. Feminine singular noun, again notre, no changes. And then masculine and feminine plural for both the cases, this is no. N O S. So your job is half here. You don't have to remember all the three. You have to remember only two because not through not through for masculine and feminine, they both are same here. Then again, the same rule for vu that means you, you but in plural. So here we use votre for masculine singular, votre for feminine singular again. And vo for masculine and feminine plural. Again the same thing what we did for notre you have to remember only two. So that means votre, votre together for masculine and feminine also you can use the same. And when it comes to the plurality then only we will be using vo. Clear? Then the last one this is il or l that means they. T-H-E-Y, they. So, whatever is related to they, it becomes their. Their property, their pet, their anything. So, if it's in plural, then we'll be using ler with an S. Otherwise, ler without S for masculine and feminine, both the cases. I hope this portion is clear. Now we'll be moving forward towards the examples. So if we talk about the examples, mostly we use adjective possessive when we describe our family, our house or anything which, is belo which belongs to us. So us means uh, it can be your friend, it can be my friend, it can be our family, my family, their country, it can be anything but in description mostly we use adjective possessive. So, if we go for the translation here, then we can see my dog. So, you know, in French, all the words, be it uh, anything, be it a tree, be it a table, be it a chair, or any word is having its own gender and which is predetermined. You cannot change the gender or I cannot change the gender. It is as per the linguistics, 
the gender is predetermined. So here, dog, which is masculine. And you can see this is without an S, that means this is in singular. So, I am using masculine singular word for my. So, masculine singular word for my is mo. And for dog, I am using the word chien. So, before chien, I am using mo chien to express this is my dog. So, my dog becomes mo chien. I hope this is clear. Then we are moving towards the next example which is our house. So house, house means maison and maison is feminine and the gender is predetermined. This thing you have to keep very well in your mind that you cannot change the gender or anybody cannot change the gender. Gender is predetermined. So now what am I doing? House without an S. That means this is singular. So I am using the singular word for house which is maison. And since this is feminine word, I am using notre. So notre means this notre. But since these two are same, so you don't have to be bothered about it. You can write any of the notre here. So notre maison. The next one is his books. So books. Here one S is there. That means this is in plural. When the noun is in plural, your adjective possessive will be in plural. That's very important. So what you have to do for book, we use the word livre. Masculine singular. So when you are making it plural, then it would be masculine plural. That means livre with an S. And be it masculine or feminine when we talk about his and his in this form be it masculine or feminine in plural form this is say s-e-s so it will be say livre and the next one is your friend and in bracket i have put an s so friend you know friend is a word friend is a word which is unisex in english that means it's not having its proper gender. It can be used for masculine as well as feminine. But in French, we call it ami for friend. But the spelling is different for masculine and feminine. If it is masculine, then you have to write it without an E. And if it is feminine, you have to write with an E. So here you can see if it starts with A, E, I, O, U and H which is considered as vowel in French. So there one rule is there. This is kind of exception we can say. That is if the word starts with A, E, I, O, U and H mute. In their singular number you have to use masculine singular form of the possessive adjective. So here it comes your friend. So if I am using ton ami, then ami, before ami, ton ami. This is masculine and this is feminine. If this is feminine, I am using an extra e here. So you can think that why am I using ton again? Because it comes ta. But if I say ta ami. Can you pronounce it? Do it yourself. Try it once. Ta ami, ton ami, ta ami. So these two syllables are together. It gets merged. But if you say ton ami, this is quite a flu. You know, it's very floating. So that's why linguistically to make it more feasible, I'm making it ton ami. Be it masculine, or feminine. If any word in French it starts with A, E, I, O, U and H mute. Before that you have to use masculine adjective possessive in their singular number. This rule has to be remembered always. Then if I am making it plural then I am putting an extra S here. So if this is in plural then I am using tes amis. And if tes amis but the friend is female a group of female friend if I say then that would be ami with e and with an s so 
then also I will be using TES. Tezani. So friends, I hope the entire adjective possessive thing is clear to you. If you have any question, you can write or you can just mail us the address and everything is given below there. You can check it out. So friends, that's all for today. I hope you all liked our session. We'll come up with many more videos very soon and stay tuned. Please like, share and subscribe my academy. Thank you so much.